Look at this. What amazing. So the, this is what I'll talk to you about. I'm in southern uh, Ecuador, um, near, near the Peru border. Well, we're getting close to the Peru border, only an hour or so away, a couple of hours away. Um, only about 50, 70 kilometres, but it's through mountains. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about the best mobile plan to get on if you're going to travel. Um, you're going to travel to uh, Central and South America. And there's only one choice. And I've got nothing to do with them. I couldn't care less about them. They're probably a bunch of assholes like the rest of them. They try to pretend they're not, but um, but it's T-Mobile. And the reason is, is that nearly every single country in Central and South America, you get free data. They've done a deal with all the major phone companies in each of these countries where if they come to America, they get, they get it free. And if they come to, to you know, it's like oh, every, every country should do that. Every company should do that, but they don't because they know there's money in it for them, for people who forget to turn their data off. And they say, oh, well, you should have known. But T-Mobile, I don't pay anything extra. Uh, every country, and in a lot of the countries, I'm getting LTE. Uh, so high-speed internet and data, and I can even use my computer with it. Uh, I, get, I get six gigabytes a month. Um, I've only gone over once, only by a little bit, but it, and it cost me an extra $40, $50 by went over by about a gigabyte or something, two gigabytes, three gigabytes, four gigabytes, something like that. So I have two phones actually and two service plans with them. So, because uh, I, I use one phone to keep to lock into my sat nav here and then I use another one to, um, I use another one to, uh, to just, you know, taking photos and just general phone. So one of them is pretty much just used for my camera, my, my maps and that's it, that's all I use it for. So, Another little, pretty little chance. So that's that's. I I would highly recommend it because you're going to find it's a nightmare if you don't have that. I've met other travellers going, oh, can I share your access? Can I do this? Because they don't get anything, you know. So just do it. I mean, it's unless you're on a plan and stuck with it. But even even if you aren't, and you're going to be four or five months, what's, that's an extra four hundred dollars to get another phone, a T-Mobile phone, so you got phone access. I know some people are you know on a lot more of a budget, but believe me, when you want to do shit and you can't do it because you have no data and it's not that you get you get access everywhere but you get access in just about every town um, and you know sometimes very remotely as well you know but uh, it all depends on where the cell phone towers are but they, they, they follow the main highways uh, pretty well you get a lot of this sort of stuff all over the road that's why you've always got to be dri drive carefully into corners and you can drive aggressively out out of them So that's that's uh, what T-Mobile, what what phone plan you should be on, and and you just got to make sure it's about eighty dollars a month or sixty dollars a month if you own your own phone, like I do, um, and you just make sure you you, you t when you talk to them you say you want international uh, data coverage, and you want to be on that plan because it's, it's a bit more expensive. It's like sixty dollars a month rather than the basic um, plan. So yeah, and if you want to buy your own phone, get your own phone. Like get, even just get a little. I mean, some of the some of the Chinese phones, Zhiwei uh, or whatever it's called, um, Xiaomi. That you can get some really cheap, really really good Android phones from them. Uh, I, I always suggest buying phones outright anyway, um, as long as you get a good protective case for them. Like I've got I've got a Samsung Galaxy and a Samsung Galaxy Edge. Um, the Galaxy here, the S7. Uh, just sits here. It's waterproof, water resistant. I haven't had any issues. It's a couple of times the cable it said, uh, "Please, there's, there's liquid in the cable. Please fix or whatever." So that's pretty much it. I wanted to turn off somewhere. I might be around the corner here to get on one of these roads up the mountain. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, but hopefully I will. If this if this road snakes around, if it doesn't, I'm screwed. I should have gone through the town before. I mean, this stuff can be lethal, uh, that, that dry stuff. But anyway, so that's the phone plan. Um, uh, I, I suggest it for anyone travelling abroad. It's, you know, it's it's the only way to go as far as I'm concerned. I think I have to go back to the town. Anyway, thanks guys. Mate, write your questions or comments in the section below and I'll get back to you soon.